I used these for 10 days and my face cleared up. Acid laughed in my face and called me a dumbass bitch. I don't have any raised pimples. The stuff that's on my cheek that I know you see, this here and this here. It's only dark spots, so I got rid of all the acne. There's no bumps, there's just dark spots that I gotta get rid of now. I'm gonna show you a close up so you can know that I'm telling the truth. Can you see this, is it focused? Let me see. All of this is flat, none of it's raised. If I put my makeup on, it doesn't look textured. Everything on my face looks smooth, so I just put concealer here until it goes away. Um, but yeah, I don't have any more raised bumps. It's just dark spots now that I have to get rid of. And I'm working on it now. Actually, this was a lot worse when I first got rid of my pimples. Um, so it is getting a lot better. And when that goes away, then I'll tell you guys what I use to get rid of my dark spots. But let's focus on the pimples today. In the daytime, I use the CeraVe Hydrating Micellar Water to clean my face off. Like when I wake up, I don't wash my face in the morning and at night which i did used to do i was over washing my face i was washing my face and in the daytime in the middle of the day at night like i was doing a lot at night i really use this neutrogena naturals purifying cleanser and then like once a week i'll use this acne dope face and body scrub it has 2% salicylic acid, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys, when I try to use salicylic acid on its own, salicylic acid laughed in my face and called me a dumbass bitch. They're not life changing to me. I could swap either one of these out at any given moment, but they get the job done right now. So I use these Clearasil Rapid Rescue Deep Treatment Pads salicylic acid acne medication on my face like three times a day i don't use it as often anymore because my pimples are gone but from what i've heard you're not supposed to stop using anything cold turkey so i'm slowly working this out of my routine i'll just keep this on hand for if and when i have a breakout in the future cross his fingers that i won't so out of everything that I use, I will say that I think that this one is the biggest lifesaver. This is from Neutrogena. It's the Rapid Clear Stubborn Acne Spot Gel. And it's benzoyl peroxide. And it's 10% benzoyl peroxide. I don't know if that will work for everybody because apparently benzoyl peroxide can dry your skin out. Apparently this, this is supposed to dry your skin out too. For all you dry face be holes. Um. Neither one of these dry my skin out at all like i did not have dry flaky skin when i woke up it just worked i used to use hella different moisturizers which was making it hard for me to pinpoint what i was using on my face that was making me break out so i switched to V moisturizing cream this is what i use on my face every day now and this feels so damn good this is probably the best moisturizer that I've ever used on my face. This is moisturizer for your face. For all you dry face be holes. Um. The Drunk Elephant Marula Oil is the best oil that I've ever put on my face in my life. My skin be like, give me some more. My skin like instantly drinks that shit up. Like it's not oily at all. Like it absorbs immediately and I love it. What the fuck else do I do? Okay, so when looking on YouTube and seeing a lot of people say, oh, you need to take vitamin A and you need to take zinc, like that'll clear you right up. 
I took that, it didn't clear up shit. It did make me nauseous. Every time I took those pills, I was throwing up whether I ate before or not, it just didn't work for me. I did find these Ollie, I think it's called Ollie Flawless Complexion Gummies. And these have vitamin A and zinc in it. And I haven't had another breakout since I started taking these. I don't know if it's a skincare routine, if it's these, or if it's a mixture of both, but I have not had a breakout. When my period came, I didn't even have a breakout. And I always have a couple of pimples around my period. So I don't know if this is to thank for it, but I'm not gonna stop taking it. I don't wanna be another one of those YouTubers that's promoting you to take all these supplements and stuff when you may not need it. I have a vitamin D deficiency and I get told that every single time I go to the doctor. But I've never really done anything about it until I found out that vitamin D deficiencies can affect your skin. It doesn't mean that it will. It doesn't even mean that that is what was affecting my skin, but I did learn that a vitamin D deficiency can affect your skin. So I decided to start taking vitamin D gummies as well. So these are the gummies that I take every day. I take one vitamin D and I take two of these in the morning. So I don't know what the fuck that just was. Why the fuck did I do that? I mean, that's pretty much it. I don't really do anything extravagant. Wash your face at night, do a gentle cleanse in the morning, use a gentle moisturizer, and that 10% benzoyl peroxide and this rapid rescue deep treatment salicylic acne medication things. I used these for 10 days and my face cleared up. This is not me, it's gonna work for everybody, but after two months of trying to figure out what the fuck was wrong with my face and then using this and my face clearing up in 10 days, like, come on. Doesn't hurt to try because they're both at the drugstore. To be honest with you, I kind of feel like I ruined my own skin by listening to YouTubers tell me what I need, what I don't need, and there's this trend now on YouTube where we have skincare enthusiasts that give people advice about their skin. And I am one of those people that fell into the trap of, oh my God, I need to use this, I need to use that, I need to use this. I can't go outside without using this and I need to do this every day. And to be honest with you, they are not dermatologists. They're not. Some of them aren't even estheticians. They're just a skincare enthusiast. You cannot tell people what to do with their skin. Now that I'm really paying attention to it, it frustrates me that there are really channels out there with people giving so much skincare advice that are not certified to give you skincare advice. Y'all are going to jail, period! If I'm watching like a celebrity, like let's say like a Harper's Bazaar go to bail me video, yo, it's so many people that are dermatologists in the comments like as much skincare advice that people give in these comments you would think that there would be more dermatologists in the world like sis you did not go to school for this shut up i actually told myself that this was the last thing that i was going to try to do on my own and if it didn't work i was going to go to a dermatologist but this ended up working for me I am not a dermatologist, I am not an esthetician, and I am also not a skincare enthusiast on YouTube that's trying to tell you how to do your skincare routine. I'm just telling you guys what worked for me because I've had clear skin my entire life and I feel like overnight I got acne on my face that would not go away to save my life. And it was really insecure. I didn't want to film any videos. So when a lot of people were like, you haven't posted in forever, I had bumps all over my face. I didn't want to film anything. I looked crazy. You do not need a 25 step skincare routine. Everybody does not need lactic acid. Everybody does not need glycolic acid. Everybody does not need vitamin C, niacinamides, all these different serums and essences and retinoids and retinols like you don't need all that to have clear skin and it is really like popular now to have a really big ass skincare routine i don't understand 
all you need to do is wash your face and if you have a breakout use stuff with active ingredients in it if i don't have a breakout i'm not using that all i'm gonna do is wash my face and put moisturizer on that is it thank y'all for listening to me rant like subscribe love you bye